my soul was free. I'm Rosalinda Roman, and this is New Mexicast. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the New Mexicast. I'm Rosalinda Roman, and I am very glad you're here to see my fifth episode because that means that my independent reporting is still going strong thanks to your support and encouragement along the way. So, thank you very much. Now on to the subject of this week's episode. You've heard of dancing with the stars, but what about dancing with the dogs? When I saw an ad for a class called Ballroom Dancing for Dogs, I knew it was something I had to see for myself. And that means it's something you get to see too. This one will definitely make you smile. Enjoy. This episode and this gorgeous New Mexicast logo are brought to you by FoundationImaging.net, where they transform your engineering, architectural, and entrepreneurial visions into compelling photorealistic renderings. You will be amazed at what they can do for you. Accusing a dancer of having two left feet is usually an insult, but at this dance recital in Rio Rancho, New Mexico, all the stars have two left and two right padded feet. This is ballroom dancing for dogs, where human and canine partners team up on the dance floor. I I totally loved it. It's the most favorite thing I've ever done. Ramsey Lofton brought her six-year-old flat-coated retriever, Pippi, to the six-week class. Oh, he loves it. And at home, when I take out the apron, he's like eyeing me and waiting for the music to go on. And he just totally loves it. She also brought their friends, Jennifer Lucero and Zoe, along for the experience. I was a little nervous about the title, Ballroom Dancing with Your Dog. It sounds kind of weird. <laughs> It was a perfect training environment for the dog. It was awesome. It was great. In fact, the name is just instructor Rosalie James's way of getting people interested in the internationally recognized sport of canine freestyle. Uh, you say canine freestyle, nobody knows what that is. And so we say ballroom dancing for dogs and their eyes light up and they get the idea right away. The idea is to combine music and movement to encourage bonding between two and four-legged friends. With agility they have to get over fear elements and with obedience there's like this whole discipline thing but with ballroom dancing it's just fun. At this recital the teens show off some canine freestyle moves like marching, circling their partner, and Pippi's specialty, weaving under his partner's legs. And, of course, taking a bow. They also each perform a choreographed routine. During her moment in the spotlight, Allison Thomas's Weimar honor Sophie wasn't sure she wanted to perform her signature move on cue. But perfect timing isn't really the point here anyway. I just wanted to do something with Sophie and to get out and have some one-on-one -on -one time together. Well, human ballroom dancing and ballroom dancing for dogs both require a lot of training to get really good. The difference with canines is you can have fun from the very beginning. For Jennifer Fiordalisi, that was the whole point of taking this class with her Springer Spaniel, Beethoven. You know, I thought it was great. I had such a good time. I don't have enough fun in my life, and I wanted to do something that was a little bit unusual and fun, and, and this was the perfect choice. It was apparently the perfect choice for Beethoven, too. I could tell when we got here in the car, even the second week, I mean, he was very excited about being here. He knew what was going to happen. Look at that. Isn't that something? For Rosalie James, encouraging happy dancing is what it's all about. We always want to keep it fun. That's the main thing. There's no way that you can train a dog to look happy. Judging by all the grins and wagging tails here tonight, these are some pretty pleased performers. I'm Rosalinda Roman. 
Well, if you are interested in ballroom dancing with your own dog, you can find a link to Rosalie James's website on my website. That's at www.newmexicast.com. Thanks again for watching. Have a great two weeks. We'll see you again soon. I'm Rosalinda Roman. And again, here on New Mexicast, the TV show, you do not have to wait two weeks for the next episode. Just meet me back here next week. Thank you very much to Wildlife West for letting me come out and hang out with the animals and showcase some of the wonderful work that they're doing here. Thank you, Roger and Kashari the bear. I hope you all will take the time to come out here. It's just east of Albuquerque and it is absolutely worth the trip. And thank you to all of you for supporting New Mexicast. I'm Rosalinda Roman. Like a dream I had. New Mexicast theme song is New Mexico by Dorian again. Spencer. Additional support for New Mexicast provided by <laughs> Kids and wildlife don't perform on demand. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. <laughs> what you may not realize is that it, does, uh, it also can be great for animals. Of course, that was shot quite a while ago. Three, two, one. Three, two. I'm going to start sweating before we're done. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'll be glistening. Okay. Should we try it again? What do you think? Okay. In three, two, <laughs> three, two, one. He, it. he is a native species here. What, what kind of bear is he? Is he a black bear? What kind of bear are you? Is he a black bear? Yes. Okay. But what you may not realize is it can also be very good for the animals. Oh, that I, I lifted <laughs> something like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, you can't have my ring. No, not for you. Not for you. <laughs> I've only seen him sleeping, so this is like the most amazing thing for me. Hi, Kashari. You are the coolest bear. You look a lot like the bear I saw in my waterfall. Except you the bear that was in my waterfall scared me a lot. It's kind of nice to have a fence between us. Yeah. <laughs> Entertaining for a lot of kids. Enjoy. Kashari, you did perform on demand. Thank you so much. <laughs> Very cool. And you too, Roger. <laughs>